Turn your game from looking like this to this. These are 10 Counter-Strike 2 settings that you need to turn on. Some will help out with performance, while others will give you an advantage on your enemies. Let's begin with settings outside of Counter-Strike. So we will do a 3-in-1. For number 1, go into your Steam settings, then Library, and the 3 settings which follow as Low Bandwidth, Low Performance, and Disable Community Content should be ticked on. This will make it so automatic things that load inside of Steam, like your friend's activity, won't anymore unless you directly ask for it now when you hop in game there is an important setting you need to change which is making players lag and stutter it's under audio and you will find a streamlined audio option this turns your mic on in the background so it doesn't turn on and off every time you go ahead and use it and it's also been confirmed by a valve dev that this setting helps out performance and could be the reason your game is stuttering we need to move into nvidia reflex you might be saying wait water people have said to turn this setting off and that's exactly why you need to turn it on that was over a year ago at this point and since nvidia has had multiple driver updates and came out with their own counter-strike settings guide breaking down the advantages of how reflex reduces latency whether you want reflex plus boost on is up to you but reflex on should be a given at this point before we continue clash gg has a summer event live right now where you can collect oysters and win skins as they're giving out 500,000 gems you can get oysters by playing your favorite game modes but it won't last forever so deposit with code water cs for a five percent bonus and then easily withdraw when you are done staying in your video settings there's a few which you can do whatever you like but for anti-aliasing this one is important this one smooths out lines and jagged edges it's important in situations where the enemy will be behind objects with little visual with a setting to low or off you will barely see the enemy for example behind a fence or railings while with it on at least msaa 4x or higher it lets you see the enemy a lot clearer with the higher you go the better visibility you'll have but it will cost you some frames staying in your video settings you need to make sure your shadows is on high at least on low or medium you won't see a lot of shadows which is a huge disadvantage in cs2 having it on high or very high lets you see enemies before they peek around certain corners also in your video settings this one is similar to shadows you want to turn on ambient occlusion as it lets you see differences in lighting which in many situations can tell you if an enemy is there or not it's not as powerful as the shadow setting but definitely will tell you an enemy location if you're paying attention so if you have shadows on you may as well turn on ambient inclusion too as they work hand in hand together have you ever been in a 1v1 clutch situation and your teammate just won't stop talking on the mic but you just can't mute him well luckily counter-strike has a clutch key which mutes any talk you just want to turn it on by setting it up in your key bindings and now you can just clutch in peace next setting was recently added to the game and it's the grenade lineup tool this setting is probably already on but you want to lower the time so you don't have to wait for the default two seconds having this setting on and then lowering the time lets you throw smokes or any grenades quickly without having to wait that extra time which may cause a delay next setting is the map zoom key you want to make sure this is enabled in your key bindings and then set a custom value in other setting videos we talked about how setting a good zoom is important so you can see the entire map but now Valve added this new setting which lets you have two different map zooms, one which can be very close to see small details, and one which can be farther out to see around the map. This setting pretty much gives you the best of both worlds, which is why you should turn it on. No matter what setup you're using, even if it's a NASA PC, you will probably still run into issues while playing CS2 which is why you want to have telemetry on. This may be default, but you can adjust it to the stats only show when issues are happening, so you can pinpoint when you are having packet loss, high frame times, low FPS, and then if you need to share the problem afterwards. It has a built-in FPS counter as well, so that alone gives it a great use. Let me know what setting from this video you had off before and now turned on. Having good settings is great, but it's useless if you don't know how to protect your account from hackers, which is why you need to watch this video.